Ooh. Just finished editing yesterday's video, so now finally time to go to bed. Good night. Guess not yet. Time to go start today's adventure. So today is going to be part two of helping out in the search for Maya Millette in San Diego. And uh, luckily today it's a lot closer than the desert. It's probably like 15 minutes away in Chula Vista. So I'm glad it, you know, it's super, super close. And uh, we'll again be throwing up the Mavic Air 2 in the sky to help out in the search to kind of see, you know, if, you know, getting an aerial point of view will be a little bit faster and covering, you know, more of a distance from the sky. So that's going to be like really cool and really interesting to see again. So yeah, I'm meeting up with them probably in like 30 minutes. So I'm going to finish this coffee right here and then go and get packed and ready to go. So let's go. All right, so we just got here. We're in Chula Vista. Uh, I think the game plan is I'm going to meet them here somewhere and then we're going to ride together to this one location. Um, I think we're going to be searching some dirt kind of trails and kind of areas like that and then throw the Mavic Air 2 up in kind of like less accessible kind of areas. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna head out soon. Just waiting on them. Um, it's still really early. I feel it. I'm still really tired from yesterday because I haven't gotten very much sleep. But yeah, this is gonna be you know a good effort. So excited you know to see what we can do today. So feature Jordan checking in real quick. I just wanted to add this little clip in this video and I'm not a fan of adding, you know, this kind of little disclaimer in the video. But essentially, if you saw in the previous clip, uh, we got approached by this truck that pretty much drove a half mile from their own place uh, just to come and yell at us for what we were doing. We politely explained that we were, you know, searching for somebody in this area because we had, you know, a lead in this area. We were legally allowed to be there as we took off in public land and, you know, area. And then three, we also requested FAA approval for the airspace in that area. So everything was fine and dandy on our end, um, but we tried to explain this in a polite manner to them and they still you know were very emotionally aggressive about the whole situation and you know verbally you know demanded that we take down our aircraft which you know i i was fine with because it's i don't want to deal you know with a complicated conflict there so the only thing is i would just you know say in this whole situation and this i think is a teachable moment for everybody and that's the reason why you know i'm making this little clip that if you were, you know, somebody who has, you know, some sort of issue uh, in regards to a drone in the sky, uh, I would please urge you to um, walk up respectfully and politely, you know, to whoever is operating that drone. I don't speak on behalf of everyone who is a drone user, but I'd say for the most part, uh, from people that I've met who have them, they're really receptive, you know, to your thoughts and your, you know, comments as to your privacy as well um, just start a dialogue it's easy as that it clears up a lot of confusion um, I personally wasn't there you know intending to spy or you know invade on someone's privacy uh, I was merely there to search you know this public area and it may or may not have been perceived that you know I was above private property but that's still technically legal uh, as you know I didn't take off in a private property area I took up in a public space and flew in public airspace which is regulated by the FAA not by people down below necessarily for the most part and yeah so uh, just quick 
excerpt did not was not a fan of making this but let's get back to the main part of this video and continue the search all right so i'm at the next place now uh, i'm not sure if you could see in that window but there's you know a ton of people ready for the search party so we're gonna get out of this car and head right there right now let's go That's crazy. That's crazy. So we kind of hit the end of this trail, so we're heading back now. There's some people there, there's more people there. And yeah, we haven't found anything unfortunately, but we're still kind of looking you know, on the way back, just double checking and backtracking. So I'm back home now, but that doesn't mean the search is complete. There's still people working, you know, 24-7 to, you know, try and find her. The family, you know, is still going through this whole situation. So until we find Maya, there's still a lot of work to be done. Um, I've included, you know, links down below uh, for resources, um, you know, to reach out in terms of helping any way and any can that you could help is, you know, always greatly appreciated. But that's pretty much it for me today in this video. So if you like this video, make sure to press that like button down below. Subscribe so you don't miss out on, you know, future adventures and things that are going on on this channel. And then comment down below if you have any tips, you know, in terms of this ongoing, you know, mystery, as well as, you know, if you have any questions in ways that you can help as well. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.